Pony one too. When I get up here, I'm gonna call him and see. You gonna do a guitar like that? If he ain't at home, he ain't getting him. <laughs> I ain't saying Uncle Tony. You'll be right. Thank you, Storm. You gonna be a travel agent? Oh, most definitely. I've been well, that, 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 the minute you are one, let me know so I can do business with you. You know we, you know we travel. And try it again, Keith. You know what you're facing now, so just do it again. Try it again. You know what you you know what you're facing, so. Hold on. Yeah, it's car person. Yes, child. When people tell me they failed that test, I'm like, why are you take it again? They're like, I got discouraged. No, you know what the test looks like now. You got the cheat sheet. That's the equivalent of having a cheat sheet. Right? And they tell you your strong point and your weak points. They tell you what you're doing well and doing bad. <clears throat> I got to get with this girl down here. I'm telling you. Exactly. Three times, third time's the charm. Sometimes the 10 times the charm. It's just whatever. Whatever makes it happen, yeah. Being over, excuse me, there's a washroom. Okay, that's what I was gonna say. Being over here reminds me of this girl. Poor girl, she's been trying to buy a house every year. Something comes up every dang on year. So I'm gonna, I gotta call her and see where she's at now. She's a sweet girl, but she always has something come up. That's right. Once you go on to school, there's no reason to give up. All you got to do is take tests. And if you had to go back to school, that's a different um, thing. I give up then. Remember, keep, keep Keona, I told you, um, second semester, I didn't make it through my school. I went back. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm just saying, like, when you determine, even if you gotta go back to school, this is what you gotta do. But when people have to do like what we do in real estate, you know what I'm saying? You've done the little little class, it went long anyway, but still you've done it, you got it out the way. Shoot, go on and take that test as many times as they'll let you. Do they give you one that's, and, and hopefully one day they'll say, just fuck it, here, you're supposed to be in the business because you won't give up. Here, here your license, damn it. But I wanted y'all to see me because a lot of you know a lot of y'all see me as this rah rah name calling, absolutely positively hot ass mess. But I want y'all to see me in my professional capacity. Um, I noticed that you too. Know, I was my like, diction dang, change, she can my change tone so change. fast. Everybody knows so many that my tones. dialect change. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I am a huge code switcher. I'm a, I've always been a huge code switcher. We're um, yes, talking to I that will. white lady. Yeah. It switched in and I'm then you switched back when you talked to the black people. I was like, look at Kiana. Oh my good code switcher. I tell you, be all things to all people. You have to turn the out. You have to learn turn on, turn off. And I, I credit um, my God She's like a god sister, but a god mom at the same time. But I watched her. She used to cuss us out like a dog. She used to say, shut your ass up. Hi, this is Sandra. And we used to laugh at her. You know, it's her. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, bro. Um, we used to laugh at her because we like, she's so damn fake. But then I realized you ain't going to make no money talking in your regular tone. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to do that thing. You got to do that one thing. And so when she and I had it out earlier this year, um, well, actually, uh, when our, our dad passed, pissed me off how she ran the funeral. And so she wound up having that talk with me like, oh, well, you know, you think you're better because you're the millionaire. I'm like, uh, last I checked, your motherfucking ass was a millionaire, too. And I think you may even have more. So what the fuck the hell is we talking about? No, and I told her, I said, I want to thank you for something. And she said, what? I said, I want to thank you for when you used to yell at us in one voice and then get on the phone in another voice. I said, I learned that. That helped me make the money I make today. 
I couldn't make no money talking the way yeah. I would have talked had I, I not known you. Shapers. You know what I mean? Yeah, like. Yeah, and I love, and, and old people bad about doing it. Hello, hello. Like, get your bit off somewhere, but big mama, grandma, because the lady who raised me, doll, she would do that too. Wait, she didn't, hello. You asked her phone like that too. Why'd you ask that phone like that? I know. Hello. That's it. She'd be like, this is Darlene. We'd be like, Lord, doll, the trip. Then soon somebody, did she realize somebody be like, hey, baby, here. Go to yell it. But that, that's how I grew up, y'all. I grew up with that life experience. So I took it with me, you know. But I'm glad y'all um, y'all got a chance to see. And we'll be going on a field trip again, possibly tomorrow. <laughs> possibly. But if not tomorrow, definitely Monday. <laughs> so get ready for another field trip, another for closing. Us. Or 9000 no, it's like thousand dollars breaker. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm gonna have to learn how to get because some of these, um, like I said, this closing really shouldn't have even been that long. But we were waiting on her money. I think had her, which I don't. She wired her money at three or four o'clock yesterday, but I don't think. Um, yeah, the, the lender's wire was already there. I verified that myself. So they should have just really let her sign disperse. Now, when we have these lenders that I, well, the last one that usually take all day, me and them parted ways. I was like, man, listen, I, I want to part ways with y'all. Y'all do too damn much. So I, I um, terminated my contract. But I find it funny that I still have access to the fucking system. So I, I believe they on some Jennifer Holiday, bitch. You ain't going nowhere. We'll make a lot of money together. Little, little, let you cool down for a minute and then you come back and make let's make some more money together. But and they're out of Connecticut, Mocha. This lender that I'm talking about here is out of Connecticut. I would name their name, but I don't need people in my business. Um, but they're they're pretty much the largest wholesale lender in the United States, and they're based out of Connecticut. And um we um we parted ways. But anyway, um, they take forever. And I mean forever, forever, ever. They take for fucking ever to give you authorization to disperse. Hey, Nigua. Oh, she was making money. That money, man. My mom taught me. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to have to probably get one of y'all to take over the live when I have... Um, yeah, we were when I have one of those talking about type video of clothes. Games, so. You were laughing. Okay, yeah, y'all. Because he was playing Star Wars. I heard Atlas said he was dropping down. I said, I what the hell going on in here? <laughs> what in the hell? But yeah, um, Lucy, listen, Lucy still texting me right now, y'all. She's at school. Um, and she's texting me. She, they don't piss Trina don't piss Lucy off. She's texting me, doggone documentation. Trina, you should have just said, Listen, y'all, I done fucked up. I'm ready that's, to hear my that's life. Her life. Look, she was part why would three you say she did something? Lucy's mad she didn't do that's some fucked up shit. Especially say, I mean, I know I ain't do it. I, it wasn't done. Let's be clear, the shit wasn't done at all. So neither of us did it. But just to put it on somebody, I don't, I don't know. If she knew she had to back that shit up. But see, this is first. The app is finding out that Lucy is an educator, and I mean, what Lucy's probably either she has her doctorate or she is like a couple courses from her doctor. But her husband got a doctor. Oh, you want some outfit? Just some, just a little, just a little. There you go, there you go behind me. Shit, little Balenciaga shoe, little gray pants, little gray, uh, gray and white actually flannel pants, little black and red, black and red. Yeah, Lucy's passion is education. Like she, she just actually, um, she didn't even know they had gave her like um, staff members uh, something, and she was like. This, they told her like, did you know? She was yeah. like, no, I'm too busy with the kids. Like I, cause you remember last night, Dan, we was like, where is the? Thank you, baby. 
was like, where is Lucy? Like um, her and Dr. Michelle, they very right, passionate. Right. a picture about them so you can cater to a collective, so you can you know get money to go on trips and stuff. You know, some of this stuff is detrimental to people's careers or the direction that they plan on taking their life in. This internet stuff is literally forever. So right. when people look you up and see that you've been in multiple altercations and you know you're dealing with certain groups of people, it's going to put a stain on you, it's going to tarnish you. They're going to ask you about your level of activity on and off these apps in certain careers. See, a lot of people are used to going after jobs and they're not used to looking at careers. When you look at a career, they go into this stuff like whether you want to believe it or not, they go into it, especially certain careers. They want to know if you was in any debt, you know, know if anybody can bribe you, if anybody got anything on you as far as blackmail goes. A lot of people want to protect their business or their brand. And the moment we realize we are a business or a brand, we'll start protecting ourselves a little bit more, too. I don't say too much. Yeah, that's true. Even as even as an individual, you are a brand, whether you know it or not. You know what I'm saying? And and it's it's unfair and unfortunate for people, you know what I mean, to put things on you that you didn't do. Like, you know, I've never doxed someone first. As a matter of fact, I think I just did my first doxy with HB the other day after she did me. So. But, I mean, it's crazy. And Lucy, you up here? Yeah. Um, Lucy's husband is a is a doctor. He has a doctorate degree. He's a professor. Lucy, they, that's an education family. You can't just throw anything out there on these people. Fuck wrong with you. Well, I talk so much shit on the back end. Hold on. Oh. But not on here. <laughs> Green, you got no job. What the fuck? Your husband take care they of you. Just, they don't hang it for you. Yeah, every day. Yes, do you have uh, biscuits all day, breakfast all day? Yes, ma'am, we do. Okay, do you have the pork chop biscuit? No, ma'am. Oh, shit. Uh, can I have a um, chicken biscuit and a peach cobbler and a Coke? Well, you can do the meal. Okay. Oh, we have a filter on you like a filter. Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah. uh, not a Pepsi, but a spot, Starry or whatever that is. A Starry. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what up, thank you for you. Um, this? Mm. Oh, do y'all do, do steak biscuits? Yes. I, instead of chicken, let me have a steak biscuit. Now can you be in like HB when to eat on um, pork chops? Mm -hmm. I know I just pissed her the fuck <laughs> off. No, I'm messing with you. Listen, I love it. my stomach only likes pork, so oh, look, I, I be eating food tell that so I went. They gave me a naked piece of pork chop the other day. I still scoffed that stuff for that. I still scoffed it down. What y'all know I about them pork chop sandwiches down. on two oh, slices of white bread with hot sauce on it? Yes. Baby, what you yes. talking about? The, All what right. is Orange Basically, City I schools? guess someone What's was er earlier City. saying that they <laughs> was uh, volunteering in Orange City schools and they wasn't doing background checks and they had that argument. Wasn't it like CM somebody up here arguing that? Yeah, that was Carla. She had sent me, um, had me Google the policy for that school system. And, um, and they, oh, she had me put on it. Yeah, it's all, I bet you they finna change it now. Ooh, I like me on my. It was for, she, so they out there still letting people come over to the school without. They won't even let me in my kid's school. And I and my kid go to the school. They won't let me in. There were certain circumstances. It said, okay, it says you must submit to a background check if and only if the following pertains to you. You will work with students of in any type out of school time activities, including those that 
occur before and after school and during all school vacation time, including the summer. You will chaperone an overnight trip. You will work in direct con contact with students without the presence of a teacher or administrator. You, you have reason to communicate with students in person during out of school time or by phone or any electronic means during school or non-school hours. Then it says the following are examples where a background check is not required. Assisting in your child's classroom when the teacher is present, chaperoning on a field class trip during the school day, helping in the school office, assisting in the cafeteria, library, or on the playground, and that's it. And then it gives their process of what you have to do to complete it, and it tells you how what you have to do for your fingerprints and all that kind of stuff. Good morning, everyone. I'm not going to be up here long. Good morning, Kate. Um, I heard what the topic is, and my thing is, oh, I'm sorry. So my thing is this, um, Trina is a fugitive, right? So if she gets arrested and something happens while she's getting arrested at that school, that school would be liable and something happened to one of them children. So whether somebody called or not, I really do not care. Honestly, she should not be around nobody else's children, not alone her own at this point. And then on top of that, you have a drug problem. Because honestly, I'm going to be real with y'all. If y'all look at that video, she looks high in that video and dehydrated. Talking about it's hot outside, but you're not even sweating or nothing. You just dehydrated. Again, I don't believe you should be around children at all. And please, I'm trying to understand why is she asking for money like she lost a job that's I mean, this was volunteer work. What do you need money for? I mean, it's a new story every week that you use, she's using her own daughter as a crutch. And it's getting it's getting disgusting. Yeah, you knew she was going to blame it on you. Now the bitch trying to use me. You, the bitch trying to use me and that's why I, that's why I draw the motherfucking line. First of all, I, and now that, last time I too. checked, didn't even my know what school district shirt child was in. And I'm, at this point, exactly. I think this woman needs to get her life together. I'm, 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 a, I'm a over it. I'm. It's a new story every week of why you need people to cash app you money. You can't even get a job. You can't get a job. If they do background checks at that job, ever. you can't get it. Blaze, well, that's her excuse now. She's saying that um, she want to go and get this taken care of now since she got um, she can't volunteer at her kid's school, so she's raising well, money. Well, she's doing things in the wrong order. She should have did that first. I said that. She said after the game. I just wanted to say that I'm. I got things to do. Trina, get your life together. I, I'm tired of hearing about her. Y'all have a good evening. I'm trying to figure out why they had to pick her up already. Right, Blaze. <laughs> I mean, if she's a fugitive, All right, if she's a fugitive and she's on the run she's mad at and she got a warrant, why hasn't she been picked up already? She's in the public eye. Well, the the, the actual because warrant might not be like uh, one of those warrants in, that they go uh, pick you up for. You know, it could be like a. Like if they come in contact with you, then yeah, you know. But as long as it's not that, then they're probably waiting for you to turn yourself in. Nine times out of ten, it costs more money for them to lock you up, hold you in jail to find out about it, so on and so forth. So they just wait until you get in more trouble, and then they pick you up on that warrant also, or so on and so forth. So if it's that simple of a charge, then why not? Trust me, they don't try to solve that one. They don't try to solve that one in her mama's house. They're gonna solve that. And her mom, if she don't live there, she has to have a stable place to stay. They're gonna solve that. Why not just turn yourself in if it's something that's small and simple, then? And go ahead and get take care of it. 
Nobody that's addicted to drugs just turn their self in like that due to the fact that they're going to think that they can't get to that drug in there. So they're going to use every excuse. I got to stay out for my kid. I got to stay out for this. I can't do that right now because I got to do this. But really, it's just an excuse that they're making so they can have access to that drug or however you want to look at it. Yeah. Just keep running. Correct. She don't need to do that because it can come back at the most inopportune time. That's how it usually works in life. As soon as you, you know what I'm saying, you get everything squared away, that's when you got to face the music on some stuff that... So, train bean. And then to think, like, I want y'all to really think about this. More people probably... It's, it's like... People think that somebody, the, the only ops they got is on this app. No, you done messed up people in real life. They know you in real Why do we act like we haven't done wrong to certain communities when we're in them communities? It's you not, better, you it's better not making pass sense. The collection play, Alex. You better pass the collection play because you just preach a sermon. That bitch get on my nerve. You know good well if she fucking over people on the app, she fucking over people in real people life. And these negative, people do know we don't try to go to school to with that bitch. On, in them comments, it could have been any one of them. Stupid ass. Yeah, you're right, cause they let her. She only do that cause they let her over here. And that's why I'm, I'm mad with Tea Time with the bullshit. That's, I'm going to call a thing a thing. I'm mad with Tea Time because yet again, here go Tea Time again. You called this bitch worthless literally five weeks ago. But now everything she say is gold, Tea Time? Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Tell me something. I'm a school teacher. No, bitch, you a daycare center worker. Stop playing with me. You know, piss me off because you got a motherfucker over there literally saying I did some shit and you got her in your goddamn panel as if, you, you know what I'm saying, the perception is you believe I did it. Every time. Every goddamn time. And I get tired of that shit. Like, good goddamn well, you don't work in no motherfucking school teacher. If you do, you I, that must be Joe Carr Eastside motherfucking you don't snipe, high. So. Stop the goddamn cap. Stop the motherfucking cap. I don't. Man, I'm the type of motherfucker with a call to school on live. Don't play with me. The fuck? Who gonna do something about it? That's my, I, I keep telling y'all, who gonna check me? Who the fuck gonna check me if I had called the, school, uh, the Board of Education on trainer? Who the fuck gonna check me? So I will let you know. And guess what? I technically wouldn't be wrong. The bitch is a uh, fugitive. The bitch is getting high. The bitch is dangerous. The fuck? So whoever called him ain't, ain't went wrong. Shit. See y'all, what y'all gotta remember is like, and I and I say this like people, people with like addictive personalities, they can remember everything that people did to them, but they can't remember nothing that they did to people, right? So what the problem is, they think people forgot all the shit that they did to them because they choose to forget it. They were under the influence. They wasn't in their right state of mind. Therefore, these are like excusable offenses that they have made, uh, uh, you know, across people. These people being there, if y'all, if y'all, if y'all state of mind is only low down, then you and your right state of mind. Trina is low down. Low down. She don't care. That's why she think it's okay to go party with a bunch of people that five months ago was dragging her and she was dragging them and think it's okay. She better hope they don't be trying to do no pill popping because one of them gonna gave her a hot piece. Y'all gotta be careful with y'all wanna be invited I somewhere. Be somebody. I couldn't be around people who used to drag me and stuff like that because you never know. They probably planning to set her up. You never know. People think folks be forgiving. 
People don't be forgiving. People be quiet. All the time. These motherfuckers be quiet. I never want to go where I'm not wanted. Where I'm not appreciated or celebrated. Mm. The the problem with being places that you're not appreciated is when you do bring your celebrations to those places, people are thinking how to tear it down or how can they get some of it? Like, oh, you just you just won the lottery? Five thousand. Ooh. Let me And and and, and I'm gonna be honest with you, A Simone, another one. A Simone flip flop too fucking much. She be talking cold cash shit when she in one place. Then when everybody done change and everybody cool with her, she talk cold cash. You know what I'm saying? They, somebody gonna fuck her up too. They gonna say, okay, bitch, I remember all that shit you, when that, when nobody didn't like me. I remember, I remember all that shit you was talking, you were doing. Now you wanna flop over this way? Okay, let's play. Let's play. She's another one. Once you done fucked over somebody royally, it's nothing wrong with saying, listen, I ain't got to talk about you, you ain't got to talk about me, but bitch, we ain't never friends. The fuck? Especially where, I mean, we gonna be in the same vicinity. No. No. You'll never be around something I got to drink or eat. You'll never be, well, you can actually put your hands on me Cause motherfuckers transfer spirits through their hands too. No, whatever you gonna that, do, try to the, do it. Virtually, you said a bitch. mouthful right there. Cause and you think I'm gonna put myself in your presence so you can put all those fucked up intentions that you already have virtually on me? That's like uh, that's like letting somebody load up a package for you and then as soon as they see you in person, they <laughs> hand you the, the no no no. You gonna keep those. You got messed up intentions for me and my life. Stay out of my presence because it ain't no point. If we understand the, the world and how it operates, you're watching people put mad, false intentions on people. And then you're watching the catastrophic events that take place in their life from these fucked up intentions. Yeah, keep, keep. I got a mean return to sender. That's why celebrities do that. They don't um, shake hands or hug everybody because of their okay. energy transfer. Yeah, it's a movie about that called Fallen with Denzel Washington. It is a movie night. Bitch, better be careful. Uh, oh, we were supposed to be had it the night before the election, but all that shit popped off. So, I, was but we had, I mean, I might night. have one tonight if y'all don't have the movie night or not. Mm-mm. Well, you know, all this shit popped off. I lost the actual main page where we do the movie from. Danny forgot to remind me to get us the movie page. Exactly. You don't. Yeah, you don't let people touch your hair? Or have your hair out your comb? Burn that shit. Burn that shit. No, you haven't missed the Ashby. We didn't have it, baby. We're gonna, we might do it tonight. Dude, let's do um, falling. Yeah. It'd be good. It'd be cool. Don't let that happen in the streets. We'll have a, a good little movie night, but if not. Hey, pound cake, how are you, baby? Yeah, so. But I'm, I'm starting to worry about Dom, y'all, because she ready. hasn't been live in a few days. But you just did. She would stop through. You know what I'm saying? Um, Breakfast Tea with Key Live is the page you sub on. But we're going to be playing the gala from a different page. But we're only going to let people in the room or stay in the room that has a... Um, that has a subscription on the on the main page. I ain't seen that movie with Vanessa Williams. Oh, they already got here. Some of the people were flying. Let me ask y'all this. Hey, Ark. 
Have they even gotten the goddamn location of the actual game? I think they what, the day of or something like that, the day before? Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. The fuck I gotta go to some uh, cookout, a banquet. Uh, and, um, man, ain't no fucking way. What is her reasoning for giving the location out the day of or the day before? I'm too scared people gonna show up. Because she knows she fucked with some dangerous motherfuckers. They still can. They just they know it's in Atlanta. Like at the end of the day, if somebody's gonna do the, well, I mean, in the reality, the person who won't who got a nerve to do something. They'll just buy a fucking ticket. I was gonna say it's um Off an no matter what the time you tell somebody it's, it's at, it's still gonna happen if it's gonna happen. And people, uh, yeah, and people I listen, exactly. it's people that I know. Dumb, but okay, go off. Bro, they gonna show up, it don't matter. <laughs> they gonna they gonna show up. They ain't gonna say nothing, they ain't gonna be on here jaw jacking like Kev the comic says. Thank they're gonna pull up they're not gonna say one word they're gonna pull up and they're gonna handle their business not a word they ain't gotta go through all this that and the third not a motherfucking word <laughs> that was so dumb i believe it don't be because of that because at the end of the day a person can buy a ticket and it also once you release the, the thing that is going to go through this app like wildfire somebody's going to create a troll page put the address out there so anybody who want to pull up gonna pull up mm -hmm. that's just long and short anybody want to pull up gonna pull up as soon as she released it as soon as that date get released to one person is that what's happening a over troll the page gonna come on years? the app telling everybody where it's at that's why the name you never of the place to get out left. Yeah, I heard about a pound cake, and this shit despicable. Um, I ain't seen Get Out yet, though, man. Well, my thing is this. I don't think she does it for the safety, and, and I, even though I said that, but I think that's one of the reasons. But I think she also be trying to make sure all them goddamn farnyons, the manyons gonna come in. So, you know what I'm saying? But your venue should be the first place you solidify. You should have your, your venue paid completely full. Now I don't think anybody's going. Now, do I think somebody might want to fight? It might be a bitch or two that fight. They want to fight they and pull up. Fight. But they don't pew pew, pew nah, nah. But I don't even think the fight gonna happen at the gala. I think that. I think if anything, it's gonna well, be an argument at that goddamn gonna be able to go to the gala or the strip club. It ain't. Top Golf got security, trust me. And the strip club definitely got security. But the parking lot ain't got shit. Ain't nothing in the parking lot for neither. Thank you, Lucy. I'm almost there, y'all. I got 12 more perfume bottles. Yep. Said security ain't stopping neither. Thank you, you, sir. That yeah, that was some fuck shit. Man. That that is terrible. That happened to long. This shit ain't even that fucking deep. It's even crazy that her grandma called astray. Yeah, like it's not even that fucking deep. Why? That's a young girl. But she pressure said they did hers. Hey, That's loving me, baby. Crazy. She pressure. Like, so they need the same fucking thing. That like, shit was crazy. Police or whatever. Turn alive, turn alive. Sorry. Y'all. Thank y'all. 
Yeah. It wasn't even, it's not even that type of party with them. Them girls just being there having fun. Rejection they don't even be on no is goddamn motherfucker. Aggression. The thing about it or, is, you know what I mean? If they talk about they you, job, they, they talk about you. I mean, then you go huh? back and you talk about them. There's no, what is all this? You want to take it to going and getting their information right. and getting the family's information for what? Exactly. Listen, the sorority gonna protect what can, her. What can the sorority do? She hasn't done anything. Right, if anything. This don't make no sense. She hasn't done anything. She hasn't made one threat, not one fucking threat. Thank you, Lucy, baby. She hasn't made one fucking threat. They need to quit. I mean, think about it, y'all. K. Michelle is a Ooh, Delta. Messy as hell. So, and she ain't stopped being a Delta. K. Michelle been... She made a, she made a threat to who, Lady K? Mm -hmm. But K. Michelle do some offlandish shit. And she's still a Delta. Come on. That's not how that goes. She ain't made no threat to Bray. Threatening, threatening Braid about what? To take his ass to court? Wow. Oh, they was playing. I, I was thinking that too, Erica Lynn. I think they said you is whatever you do with your Greek on, now you got a problem. But if you ain't got your Greek on, you good. Hey, jump up. But didn't Bray talk about unwanted sexual acts against them first? First, when he crashed out? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I was there for it. I thank you, caller. I'm malicious. Exactly, she's not in her letter. What? With Pew Pew in Atlanta and something about obituary. She responded, but people only want to see her response with that. That's my point. Like homeboy said, he was gonna make her watch her watch him sexual assault his her friend. Get out of here! I would I would have said that too. Pew pew. I'm gonna tell y'all now. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to get get me to try to get my nieces. I'm one of them. I'm gonna be like, I'm glad they, what you do to them? What they said to them? I'm one. I'm like Tony, mama. What you do to them? Tony don't give a damn what you say Tony did. What you do? So what Bray do? Exactly this. Maybe he should stop making break threats. Shit. So, it gonna be hard. Cause I'm still keep saying when it comes to them, but the dying pieces. What, what you know what? Them the birds? way I see it is like they build their mind, they the pieces. way they picking and choosing with this whole like oh breaking, breaking can threaten everybody, talk shit to everybody. Cause you know how he is. He got the kingdom. He got whatever the freak they think they got that make them think that God got protection over their life and nobody else's. I say, and, and you know this is just my opinion, like. You everything everything that's coming to them is because they think that they can dish it out and not take it. So therefore they crying about what's going on in the kitchen, but keep stepping their foot in the kitchen. They say if you can't stand the heat to stay out the kitchen, you're sitting there judging collective people. They like like they think they're the only ones that can pass judgment. Oh, your judgment has been passed. Your judgment would it like they treating everybody like peons and then when that shit come knocking at their door about their information and their lies and that fat lip and that group home and all of that shit, then it's all a problem because y'all are probably staying in a house where the landlord uh passed away years ago and y'all this ain't been paying bills on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Really, if somebody go pay the taxes, they probably can snatch your fucking house from up under you if you really want to get into the court laws or who paying taxes on houses and stuff like that. 
Everybody tell Johnny goodbye. Everybody tell Johnny goodbye. Oh yeah, Junior. Oh yeah, Junior, you out. You out, Junior. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? You that out. stupid ass shit. I told you I'm not gonna agree with you. When you come against them dying pieces, get the fuck out. Fuck wrong with you. Exactly. Fuck out of here, Junior. It's been real. Yes, people only want to listen to part of the equation, not the whole thing. Tell them, Kristen. Yeah. Talking all this shit. I might want to hear that. Hey, Misha. Girl, you said I'm back as we telling somebody about. I said, well, hey, office said, wait a minute, bitch. <laughs> so about you back. I had to look at it now. <laughs> I did, y'all. I was like, damn, I hope you see the dime pieces this weekend, Kiana. You know what? Now that I'm not going, I hope I do too. Okay, Ashby, hold on. Dying crew having from ATL. I mean, I just don't understand why nobody still like realize that man. Hold on, y'all. This Uncle Tony. Look at just tapping away, listening to Crime Mob. Oh, that's um, what you call it, uh, Manny. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I'm working. What Manny over there talking about? I don't know. It's just the song is playing and he got the breaking news banner on. He ain't come on yet. Uh, he probably about to talk about some shit then. Mm -hmm. You know how he get down. Yeah, he just... He just came on. It's, he don't even have a thousand. No, Lord Jesus. No. Manny gone a bright pink fuchsia long way. I know you lying. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Manny gone a long bright pink fuchsia wig. You know what I mean? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I know you lying. What? <laughs> Long, bright pink fuchsia. Hmm. He ain't stop. He's right now. He's just stunting for the camera. Let me hear what's going on in the newsroom, Mocha. Oh my God! He <laughs> he's feeling himself right now. Now he just stood up, and why he got on rainbow sequin? Give me All right, Manny. Looking like a fake Big Frida. <laughs> what is wrong? Clearing out, Daddy. Everybody leave. They, they just, they just going to see us. Then they're going to come you there. got my room clear. I don't do that no more. Don't be telling folks who lied. Don't find out on their own. Well, I we asked got, because she was listening to music. Do Sorry. <laughs> Ashley said he's messy, but he's a baddie. Oh. <laughs> I do like Manny, though. <laughs> So y'all had to go see Somebody take a picture, please. I know T-Time, 
she time is like early today. She's early, like early today. We feeling it. We feeling it. Say what? Run up, get done up. Run up, get done up. Let them talk. Run up, get done up. Let them talk. Let them talk. Let Please them take a talk. picture of the pan. He said, let, let them talk. talk. I have to shut the knob down. Talk. Well, we talking, Manny. We talking. It's like kibbles and bits. Honey, kibbles Somebody and bits. Somebody sounds so circle. <laughs> oh, kibbles and bits. So, you know, like I always say, let them talk, y'all. Let them do what they do. We talking, honey. Hunty. Yeah, let them do what they do. Oh. Yes, girl, it's my gala look. Am I ready for the guy? He's saying that's his gala look. You no, need to rethink that. Uh, re- rethink that <laughs> wig, Manny. You could go up the same color, the just a different wig. Like, what I don't like that do wig. How y'all do this? Okay, yeah. No, it's stra- a straight do straight do wig. No, Is it gray? With the little band in the front. Um, Yep, straight pink hair with the band. Black as many years with pink hair. Okay, somebody play tea time talking about me. What the fuck? What? Wait a minute. Tea time is. Tea time is going not, I don't have tea time. Wait, so y'all basically say like take out. Tea time is not on now. She must something must have happened. Let me go. I'm all out. I'm out of time. Well, now Manny got knocked up. I don't have tea time. She must have went off. Look, if you bump, no, no, if you bump. I said refund the wig. I'm done. I'm done. Huh? Why? Thank y'all so much. Your X Files name. Up on this crowd, my crew. Not enough is enough for a rough. Let me see, where can I go that got some Wi-Fi? I need a Starbucks because they got Wi-Fi. I get on Wi-Fi on my tablet because I brought my tablet with me. Tell her to hold it tight, goddammit. Don't say too much until I motherfucking get there. GRD, I wish you changed your fucking profile pic. People hit me up telling me breaking in your lives. Your X files, they say. Hold on, I'm trying to remember my damn login. I got two days left. I'm not putting. I'm not putting my picture over this name. Where is you, you going to change emojis? that I'm shit? I'm not putting my picture over this. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's a hole. I swear I got him a rainbow unicorn. Yeah, that's a hole. It's What's a finger going into that hole. Though? And then you got a poop emoji behind it. Oh. And of course, you got the quiet shit space. Ooh. <laughs> it's like nine of them. I had to put two red X's What's at the, the end, then put my little initial so you know. What's the other emoji? I gotta see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I oh, just got out of the cab line. They talked to me like I was doing. Like, I'm not that guy. Just trolling I'm a little bit. GRD. <laughs> no, he, no, he either blocks me or run. I don't know what's wrong with that guy. He don't mess with you back, I see. He blocks me or run. Not, not run. <laughs> Not trust. I told you, he, well, he's a well, lesbian. He's not, That's the not main thing. He's a lesbian. Women and make a oh, we all know that. That woman was uh, sticking that plastic up in him. I think he called that thing glory. True. Um, it, <laughs> I think eventually, they eventually she wanted her yeah. own, so they ended up having children. I think he probably got that case because she caught that man breastfeeding them kids. That's what I think. But that's just a theory. 
You have to lie about that. I don't look. Everybody already. Oh. Wait, everybody already. Um. Everybody. I don't think they did a background it's check. Tea time. I already don't. Tell me why would you lie about that? I, okay, bitch, I, I, I'm not gonna sit here and say. Fuck assume. out of my motherfucking face, ho. I, I don't know. I, I'm not saying here. Y'all said the same thing about me when I said this, they called DCFS on me. And that's why I said I can't go with the theories because when they called DCFS on me, y'all was saying the same thing. And I see she lying. Saying, Nobody called that's DCFS why, and, and on her. Said, that, that's not true. She old. just trying to get attention. She just trying to... Like, why? Like, what the motherfucker got lied for? So I'm not gonna sit here and assume because I don't want nobody to do that shit to me. If a person lying, they gotta deal with that shit. Y'all did the same thing with another person on the death row. Wait, wait, sleep has to wait. Y'all did the same thing Girl, to another person down. that recently passed away. Didn't Sick everybody be in shit? Because you, y'all always trying to make a person prove. Now she called funding for money to pay for lawyers. Not the person. I mean, we, she wouldn't have to lie to her. She would have to do is be like, look. Found whether or not a man raped a woman in Chicago, I mean, in, in Pils uh, Pilsacola, Florida. Ain't this Everybody the bitch? Ain't this her? Right? Everybody know that. She's been honest about it. Everybody knows she volunteering at her daughter's school. She's been honest about it. So if they would have called her in the office and been like, hey, you can't work here. You can't be here. What difference would it make if she would have came here and been like, hey, man, they done called me into the school. The school did a background check. I got a warrant. Now I got to get a lawyer so I can go back to my daughter's school. People still would have helped her. They still would have helped her. It wouldn't. You really don't need to make up a lie for that because everybody already knows she got a warrant. Everybody already knows she was at the school. It wouldn't even be a necessary. It wouldn't even be necessary to make up the lie. I ain't heard her say your name, so though, Tiana. I mean, it still would have got people to be like, "Damn, that's messed up." She, she would have got the same reaction. Like, it's a lie that wouldn't have needed to be told. Like, let's use our brains here. But wasn't they calling Trina a lie mm -hmm. about getting kicked out of the shelter? Because Journey, I mean, her friend, know. helped her got the shelter? Mm -hmm. I don't know, y'all. I'm not here to, I'm not the, I'm not the, I'm not the, What she got to uh, lie for the same thing she had to lie about? I never shelter. have me. When you and Jonah was calling her a lie? Like, my thing is this, if a person don't want to donate, don't donate. If a person don't want to support, don't support. I'm not finna lose no sleep worried about if a person lying or not. I'm just not gonna do it. If a person lying, they gotta deal with that, not me. Lord, if I could just run into a Starbucks, they gotta lose please, somebody, please, let me please get to a Starbucks. I know they got dog on Wi-Fi, and I need to grab my tablet. It don't make or break me no way, no way. Cause I'm finna tell Ain't nobody coming out my pocket. Thank you, Tyra. Hey, baby. Hey, Lama. Trina is just one of those people that blames everything in her life on someone else instead of taking accountability. Do we think that we spend more time playing private investigators than anything on this app? I'm on 75. I'm glad she said we that because she do it too. Being in school, but And I don't even want to defend HB. I don't even want to defend HB, but bitch, weren't you the first investigator on HB? Here's the thing, right? If you don't want to help her, don't help her. Like, it's that simple. Y'all ain't never heard me complaining about her asking for money. You know why? Because I don't donate none. Me? Hey, you go up on the Actually, y'all ain't never heard me complaining about her let me. Hold on. asking for, for money. You know why? Because either I'm going to give yeah. it to him or I ain't. Girlhood. Oh, 
Oh, she just loaded. Hold on. She blamed Kiana and Luciana for what? Dude, I don't care that much. Seriously, challenge her on it. Just mine. That's the real Harley like Quinn that. is telling her she blamed Kiana and Luciana. She didn't. Okay, so real Harley Quinn. She didn't blame them in my panel. Right, King Boston. She didn't blame y'all. Y'all, let's reach the live goal. Everybody send a perfume. We got three hundred people in here. Yeah, Everybody wow. saying what we got three, three hundred. What? Yeah, four perfumes. Thank you. I sure would. I didn't. She in my panel. She didn't say Kiana and Luciana. Like she didn't say that in my panel. Her. She. One minute. Oh shit! I think I requested on the wrong page. Thank you, Olympia. And she ain't accepting nobody else. Yeah. And that's why when I heard Kiana saying that, um, I am gonna fuss at T. What is Watch and see. What the hell? I heard Kiana saying that, um, T time let her lie on her in the panel. She didn't say nothing about Kiana in the panel. Chris, so I understand that, but but here's the thing, right? Oh, so Burning she bridges see the video. don't mean people deserve to for other people to be spiteful to it, right? You know what I'm saying? Like burning bridges, stop fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, but to call my kids school, to to call DCFS, to you know what I'm saying? Like, that don't mean people gotta go take it in their own hands and do extra shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, burning bridges is cool. Stop fucking with her. Yeah, she I'm just saying she accused one person right of silly because there's 20 weight on her. But there are certain people who say certain things out their mouth though, Crystal. Like for DCFS, it was people, it was certain people that said they was going to do certain shit to me. Oh yeah, that DCFS thing is crazy. Some people tell you, I'm going to do something to you. I'm going I'm to do something to you. I'm going to I'm going to do this. And then it happened. Only thing you could do is believe what came out their mouth, even if somebody else did it. Who have an issue oh, with my message? <laughs> What comment? I was looking at Tea Time Live. Danny, you see that comment down now? I'm school districts too. What? She ain't no fucking teacher. If I had an older baby, I have all the tools <laughs> necessary like, and the knowledge clearly. to help that. Oh my God, that was funny. Thank you. Not coming for Danny. Danny, stay out of your way. What the fuck? Yeah. Tea time don't know shit. I'm tired of her goddamn propped up like she do. She looks strange when she don't have no, the they don't. They, I told you, no, 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 they don't, conscious. No, almost all wear. Pull up the data, pull it up. Pull it up, cause y'all lying. Hey, King Boston, pull but it up. But I thought she don't do. Um, y'all sitting there lying just to prove that like almost all schools require you to. No, they don't. Not to volunteer. That's a damn lie. That's a damn lie. No, they don't. Okay, she is out of Zion, Chicago. I mean, she, uh, Zion, Illinois. Sorry, Chicago. Zion, Illinois. Look at the uh, school system over there. See what they said for Bobby. That is a lie. Almost all don't require clearance. That's not. Pull it up. That's all I'm asking. Pull it up. Send me, send me the data. Email it to somebody. Email right for me. Zion, Illinois. Email school email system. Yeah, let's play. Let's email play me all the schools. School. Send me, send me twelve states. You feel got the paperwork for your What's district. Up, Why don't y'all just say in my district? Why don't we understand that our district doesn't mean every district? 
Why can't we understand that? We talked about this yesterday. Just because it happens in your you district does not mean that it's required in our district. Every district doesn't require it. Like in New York, like 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 some places have districts, then they have the Hey, I miss you. I miss you. Hello, everybody on the channel. You all right? There's a whole bunch of different stuff. You all right, girl? Yeah, I'm here. Hello, everybody on the panel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Hello, hello, Thank you, baby. We appreciate you. Background is down in Zion. Include fingerprints. Show me that. Send me that if you can, Lori, because I'm finna shut this little motherfucking down with these old damn dirty ass fingernails. Bitch. Piss me the fuck off. You, you know you saw that shit, T. You saw that fucking shit. You saw Hi, your name, my I'm name, just and that fucking this is my first poem. time. I love Stop your playing show. with me. That's why right. you had to lie. In a panel. Oh. But I just want to say yeah. this. It's not where I'm from. No, we don't do a background check. I'm in New York and they don't do background checks. I volunteer for my granddaughter for school. And yes, I, I volunteer for my granddaughter in school. New York. They don't do background yeah. checks. So that's maybe somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? That's maybe like Florida, whatever. But in New York, they don't, they don't have a background check. They don't have background checks. I don't know. I don't know what two times talking about. <laughs> I can't remember. That was the point I was trying to make earlier. They don't do one state. States have hundreds of different school districts in one state. And that's mm -hmm. for public schools and then charter schools is a whole nother thing. Mm -hmm. They can have a public school, charter school, then they can also have independent school districts. Right. So each one, each everyone operates independently. So right. and everyone has their own rules with stuff. So that's like what I said, I said, I that's what Carol right. sent me. So they may do it for certain, like hers was for certain things they do it and certain things they don't so we can't mm -hmm. we can't say yes they do when when there's hundreds there's thousands ten thousands of school districts exactly. all over the country so even when you say new york new york there's hundreds. it could be new york city and new york state is all different things so right. yeah, it's, it's all over well, here's the reality. She's in Zion, and uh, thank you, Laurie. Zion actually does it. And somebody just sent me the thing. They got the fingerprint thing and everything. For where, for where we live, or what we can look up on the internet and see what it says. See, Kiana, that's what I'm saying. What she said. That, like I'm in New York. They don't do that. They don't do that here. You no. know? Are you, are you in New York City? I'm so volunteering. My daughter, my granddaughter. Well, somebody just put in the chat. She's she don't old. have to. And, and and even in New York, I don't. I see, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I charter schools work different than regular public schools. Right. So That's what you just say. Charter right. schools may have different rules than public schools have. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh. So they may have different things, and it depends on what type of volunteering she's doing. So. Right. Cause I heard it yesterday and I was like, what? You know? No. <laughs> she on the face. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Kiana, I got a qu I got something to say. That's like me going to a school. Let's say I had some did something really really bad to a child, and they didn't do a finger check. They the, the school can get in trouble for not doing the background check because I'm around right. kids. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying like that's all I was saying. I I understand what you're saying, but this this is the thing. I understand where I'm coming from. We we cannot speak for every single school district in the United mm -hmm. States. Right. 
That's the point I'm trying to make. We cannot speak for everyone. So we can say most school districts we think require background checks, but we cannot we cannot say that all of them do it. And like I like I read you the policy that that Carol sent me from Orange the Orange School District. So we can hope that they do it. We can guess, but we don't know for sure for every single school district in the United States in the United States territories. So that's how we have to look at it. Well, I have no comment because my BV and my yeast is not allowing me to. It's too itchy I'm for doing. me to talk. I'm doing. <laughs> Not the BV. Not the BV. Mm. I'm like, y'all, if y'all could have came for Dana for anything. At this point, they just said anything. Trina just need help for a lawyer. That's all she's like, help me with my lawyer. That's all you got to say. You don't have to lie and get on here and say other stuff. Just say, I need help with a lawyer. Thank you. Help with a lawyer in a discussion. I mean, they've helped over some of the most goofiest shit before. So well, why? Like what, earlier, why you, need, you ain't got to lie, Greg? You Let's ain't got to go lie, Turn Greg. yourself in and start from there and see if you need bail money first. They just trying to blame it on you and blame it everybody on your panel. They just trying to have a reason for to, to blame. That's it. That's all. I wouldn't even worry about it if I was you. She the one got a word. She what, got a word, but she gonna be able to go back on the school premises how she lied on them damn people and said she was already on there. That's who got a word with her raggedy ass. Where she been at, y'all? Y'all ain't seen her in the streets this morning? I think she, she was, was over there. Yeah, she was a little bit. Uh, she needs is a money grab, Kiana, um, like everything is, because she said in Tea Times Live yesterday that she is not around the kids. She is in the library. So why are you going to the ladies, to your daughter's school, going to the library and just sitting there reading books? They're going to kick you out. You can't just go to no, to the school. And, you, and it's not, I don't think she's volunteering. She said that she's not around the kids. And all of that calling the, the district or whatever, um, it's all, she lost so much for money. And even the situation y'all had, she 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 turned she it around so and they crowdfunded for her. In Ohio. I don't, I don't even know yeah. what to call it. Is it hustling, panhandling? What, what I, is it called? I'm tell y'all. Exactly. How is she around the kid, but how is she reaching the kid, but not around the kids? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. But check this out. Check this out, though. Um, are y'all taking names of everybody that's taken up for her right now? Because when them motherfuckers switch, I'm going to drag every motherfucker that, that's, that try to be Katrina. I'm going to do exactly what I was doing before. And they're going to be like, but she said that about your daughter. You say, I don't give a fuck, bitch. I always go with the underdog. Because you motherfuckers is goofy. Everybody that's dragging that mic right now, I'm going to drag them. I'm just not going to take up for Trina the next time. I'm just going to drag they motherfucking asses. Last time I took up for Trina. This time I'm just going to drag them. Because you bitches knew Trina with that bullshit. I didn't know because I hadn't been around the app. I had just met Trina in the spring. But now... Exactly, Blaze. I'm take we check we gotta listen. We checking that bitch twice. Baby, I'm gonna drag every motherfucker that try to be like Trina, you ain't shit. You ain't this, you ain't that. You fuck you, Trina. Uh-huh. It's fuck you now. Mm-hmm. But you was calling her, helping her do shit she had no business motherfucking doing. Uh, yeah, hey, I y'all. did. Watch me. Um, what I want to say, I'm, I'm not going to say bitch. anybody is lying hey, about volunteering without the background check, but can you DM me the name of the school so I can verify that? I, I'm not outright calling you a liar, but can you DM me the name of the school so that I can verify that? Because I'm not going to say all schools require, but most, huh? 
Daytona, baby. Daytona. Oh, I was just saying most schools do require I was telling somebody that hey, in the comments, check I'm sorry, because but. of the liability. I'm, I, I definitely cannot say all, but anyone that says they volunteer at a school, I want them to send me the name of the school so I can verify that with the school because that's very hard to believe. And I don't think a lot of you realize the difference between going to the school and an actual volunteer. It's two different things. I even had to do a background check to go on a field trip right. for my granddaughter's summer camp. So I, I find it really hard to believe. I can't, I'm not gonna call you a liar, but I find it hard to believe. I wanna see one school that their actual policy is, you don't need a background check. And that's all I had to say. Deanna, did they ever say what she was exactly. did she ever say what she was doing while she was volunteering? Was she in the classroom? She said reading. And checking so reading in, in the classroom. She said reading and checking in books. Yeah, y'all really need to take like the reason why this is uh, the, the reason why the conversation is, is uh, the way it is is Where because the school rules has Thank changed you, since all of the situations that took place this ain't the 90s anymore they don't even let you come into the schools no more you check in at the door they take your picture they give you a visitor's pass so you know they're going through extra extents when it comes to uh, volunteers for uh, trips or, or school dance and stuff like that so they change up the uh you know they up the security risk when it comes to these schools because it's becoming dangerous now so they she, i don't know what she was thinking but you're right it, Alice. it, it might she not have been that. nobody on the internet that did it people might know her in real life and be like what she's at the library you know, kids might have come and say, hey, you know that crazy chick that was out there selling herself on the corner many, many years back? Yeah, she's at our library now, sitting in there with the kids and shit. And somebody, parent, you know, old that know the neighborhood might have been like, oh, hell nah. Y'all know how these nosy people do in the neighborhoods and these little cities and shit. They ain't letting us live nothing down. I got a lady up the street uh, uh, from my dad's house who still complained about me hitting her chicken with a rock in 1993. Alice, you are right, because when she first took her baby to school, that's what she said. They would not let her. She had to uh, give the babies to the authorities or, you know, the teachers She because you, you can't go in. You can't go into the schools anymore like that. So and and. And then even with the library, are you reading to different um, right. classrooms? You know, because I know your your class is not your teacher is not taking your class, uh, your daughter to the library every day to read. <laughs> Do you believe that? <laughs> Uh, hell no. I, but the, the biggest question nobody is asking is, why the fuck do you feel like you can get up in the morning and go check in books, but not go check right. in on the clock? Uh. Well, I think Trina they're doing this until because work. they want her so bad at the event. And then once that event uh, is over with, watch how things shift. We've all said the same thing. They might they might not do it just because we know they're all going to do it. Um, Y'all knew it until, was coming they might be, when she nice put her daughter on that camera years. and was they like, might. show them your shopping spree stuff. There's like five items right there, three belts. That shit came in a set. She's like, and she like, right. She like, show them, show them your items. You just went on a shopping spree. Even the daughter was looking like, what? Well, that's a stuff. shopping spree. And she like, show them your items. Then she like, yep, I'm broke. I just spent all my money on this shopping spree. So if anybody want to hit the cash not app, to mention hit the she cash app. Like, what self, the hell? She bought her own self books and got a pedicure also and with the shopping spree. But anyway, I came back up here to say 
let's take Trina's name out of this. Everybody that's fighting so hard and swinging for her. Are you telling me you would be okay with a person, any person, going up to your child's school with an open warrant for whatever the warrant is for? You're telling me you would be okay with a person consistently volunteering, quote unquote, at your child's school with an open warrant. Come on now. Let, I mean, be for real. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so Treasure says she bought a lot of stuff. Again, I didn't, I try not to look at it because when it comes to her daughter, I don't even want to see her daughter. I don't even want access nobody child in my phone because they love to say oh who got other people kids in their phone you are a weirdo but when trina put mine kept mine in her phone every clearly she had pulled up so quick nobody said a fucking thing right. you notice that danny did you notice that it's not weird when they have your people it's not weird when you and your people is in their phone but it's no, very I, weird I when it. it's oh it's sexualization it's, 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 I mean, come on. My daughter's a grown person, but she cannot give anyone access to, to touch her. So in that regard, she uh, she's a child. So me having your child picture that is, is pedophilia. And your, why isn't yours in mine? Because my daughter happens to be of 28, but she's not that intellectually. Think about it. You don't think that's weird of you, Trina, to have an intellectually disabled Not adult only that, pictures like, in your phone? Nobody thinks it's nobody weird fucking that, said that we shit. didn't lay down and nobody. help make this baby, but she she sends her baby on a shopping spree, and then she gets on the app and say, "Anybody want to replace my money for this shopping spree?" Like, what the hell? That's your responsibility. Most of us gotta have jobs and do extra shit in order to buy Fortnite. I can't just get on here and say, "Hey guys, uh, seven want some Fortnite uh, uh, V bucks." can y'all throw in like y'all gonna tell me to get a job quick as hell y'all gonna be like get a job take care of your kids take care of your responsibility you a deadbeat dad so on and so forth so y'all don't see nothing wrong with this concept of a uh, uh, y'all are taking care of her responsibilities which gives her a a, a crutch on her responsibilities because she's y'all making it seem like it's okay that she got y'all taking. I don't know. I don't know okay, if y'all really looking at this. This is enablement at its stoppers. finest. Like we are enabling her to take up to her responsibility as a parent. We are enabling that. Y'all mean to tell me that it's more important that she go to the gala than get a fucking house for her child or an apartment or any what? That's why I want to trust. How in the fuck one minute you gonna tell me in one breath every time we argue? Get a job, get a get a house, get a this. But then when it comes to a party, I'll help you. I'll do this for you. I'll do that for you. I'll do this. Like I want to trust it. I was like, what you want to? You've been telling me to get a house and a job for all these months now. All of a sudden, you want to help me go to the party? And why? Party? Why would you volunteer I, I to work party. when you could like, take your ass to a job and get paid to work? People who volunteer, they volunteer on their off days. They volunteer because they don't got nothing to do. They housewives, they everything. Their bills are paid, so to speak. You volunteering and then making people make it seem like you lost a whole job. Now nah, I can't volunteer no more, guys. Can y'all go ahead and donate? They took my volunteering position away. <laughs> it's called volunteering for a reason. She can actually get a job doing exactly yeah. what she say she was doing when she was volunteering. Right. Right. Because trust me, them school systems be hiring, baby. They be trying to figure out if you got a good background check, they would try to figure out how to find you a space because people don't deal with kids no more. These kids are brand new out here. I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'm going to have to go on mute on this phone. So somebody play Tease Live when I find this Starbucks. I just saw the sign. I'm riding through the parking lot. Where are you, Starbucks? Because, baby, they're going to clip they gonna clip me. I can tell you that right now. Please tell me the Starbucks ain't closed. Where is it? I don't see it. Yeah, they going to clip me. Yeah, they can wait. You can just go home. Go on home. I'm not far from the house. That way you can put your um thing in the box. 
Baby, baby, you got to. Right, exactly. Exactly. I ain't got to worry about it. Because I'm looking dead at this sign that says Starbucks, but dang it, I wrote that whole parking lot ain't no Starbucks. But no, Miss Miss Thing, Miss Thing is told a lie and I got caught in the lie. Thank you, thank y'all for the likes and the shares. Yeah, she done got caught in a dang on lie. The thing about it is, to me, um, whatever she do, she do, but I just don't like how she disrespect her mom, you know, yeah. and she was only trying to um, defend herself because she, the, the daughter has been on this app for years talking about the situation. I didn't even know she had a mom because she said she passed. And then all of a sudden her mom, her mom was there, but, um, her daughter's nine and in yes. nine years. Thank you. I knew I wasn't the only one that, that her, her you know, mom had passed before she moved yeah, to that Texas. Was much, she that was, was saying that she, she had did a crowdfund saying that her mom had yes. passed and she was the only one that was there for her and so on and so so forth. I knew I remember exactly. that shit. Yeah, you know you are worthless, mofo. If you see when you people clock on, and she was did. like, I, "That was my god mom," but she didn't make it appear to be her god mom. That was her mom. Um, so it's just it's just a matter of time because her daughter's going to get older and older and she right. can talk about one incident that her mom did to her, but her daughter's going to have a lot of incidents. I mean, how she yelled at her daughter. Yes, yes. And she lived with that um, 60, 70 year old man for six years. You see in the video, she... But they, oh, they said, now word on the curb came to me, the 20 year old and the 17 year old. They said Trina was leaving, them, leaving her daughter with because, them. Because, like, she, she could show leaving pictures where you actually did stuff. Oh, she did, because remember, she had that 20 something year old. That was her. Remember, she said, uh, she was at that one place and she said her uncle's about to come pick her up. And I was thinking, damn, she don't got no fucking uncle in Texas if you just went down there on a whim. And she had a live and she was like, her uncle's about to come pick her up. She's gone with her uncle, y'all, while I get my meds right and so on and so forth. Y'all don't remember that shit? That's why I say a lot of y'all keep on forgetting. This lady put her life out there. All you got to do is have a good recollection and you can recall all the bullshit. She held the thing for her mom, said that even though she didn't get along with her mom, all of that shit, and, and she did the whole sad thing. That's what made her go to Texas in the first place because her mom wouldn't let her come stay there. Her mom said, your daughter can come, but you can't come. And she was saying how fucked up it was. She did all those little interviews where she was outside making it seem like her mom was just a fucked up person and she don't know what type of mom would not help her daughter out and so on and so forth. And she said that was why she went to Texas is because she had no more help in Ohio and her mom passed and she was going down there and then somebody was helping her down there. She didn't want to go in one person's direction because she said her daughter and that person had male figures in the house. So she went to the Texas route. But then when she got down there and they kicked her out of that one place down there, she said that her uncle was coming to pick her up and she was going with her uncle while she got her meds right. Who the fuck was the uncle that is down in Texas? Because that's the the same person that she ended up moving with that that, that is the 20 something year old y'all don't remember this shit but she did you, uh, did you see that. the I, even pictures then, I even when she was with that when, that when she was living in that white guy's apartment no, no. white tea guy 60 year old her boyfriend and they showed the he tried to he was trying to get her out and when he showed the pictures, it was like eight feet of trash from back to front. And people was telling her to clean up that apartment and she would not do it. They was like, do it for your daughter. She would not do it. That guy did an interview with the lady of the apartment complex because apparently he owns that apartment complex or whatever. He did an interview. He said 
And this is a, a YT guy. He said before she moved in, he he went through that house and showed like how it looked compared to how she made it look. And she literally did that because he kept on trying to tell her to get out. It was his pictures and stuff that was ripped up. Pictures of his old family, pictures of his kids, uh, all his photo albums was all across the, you know, ripped up and stuff like that. And she tried to get on live and say he did that to his own place. But really, she she was in there tearing that guy's shit up. Come on now. She well, stole a damn TV right. from a hotel. Yeah. How can you believe anything she say? Whoa. Yeah, that house was filthy. <laughs> And that's why her it mom that, made though. the statement that her mom made you, about, you know, hopefully she can teach her to clean up and not be, uh, you know, filthy. And that's what brought that back into my mind. I was like, damn, so her mom saying the same thing that the that the apartment dude was saying. And there's no way that all of these people are saying the same shit about how you carry yourself and how you go about being unless they witness this shit. See, she can get on here and put a good backdrop up but all of that sniffling that she's doing is telling all of the her her frantic accents is telling uh-uh. wait a minute Alice wait a minute Alice who can go on the bloggers page and find me the, the I got it saved but I want to when I get home I want to play it real quick that shit funny as hell when Trina was in there live with Rhinestone and she was in that box oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Rhinestone had that little emoji dancing <laughs> somebody please find that for me and send it to me real quick oh my god that shit was hilarious <laughs> Nah, I'm just saying the mindset of this person is like everything became a scam. Everything, even volunteer work, trying to do something for your kid became a fucking scam. Now it's like whoever said I didn't, you know, wasn't there for my kid. Look at this now and y'all should be filling out my cash app and da 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 because look at me whoever said it like these are things that and i know i say this because i had a mom who was a addict everything became a scam she would buy us gifts and by the 15th she was stealing our gifts to go sell them shits everything became a scam my mom would help you look for the same money that she knows in her pocket already uh we watched this in our aunts and 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 some of our uncles and so on and so forth and now we see it and we're trying to still turn a blind eye to this type of behavior knowing that it's right there evident in front of our face addictive personalities and addict behaviors or whatever these are endorphins the up and down of her life you know the the to making money and then fucking it up and that's a thrill to them it's something to chase it's just like a gambler with a gambling habit or anything of that sort now it became th- this constant back and forth shit has become their addiction like this rhetoric of my life is good and then it's bad and then it's good and then it's bad it became a drug it's re it's releasing endorphins in their brain and they're getting high off of this shit um atlas do you feel like her because to me her supporters do not care about her kid the kid is not stable and well, he's never really, been stable since I've been on. Never all these years, she has not they're been. Not, they're, they're, the supporters are not paying for um, her to get in a better life, or they're paying for the entertainment. So they need her to stay in a certain. Because a lot of the supporters, it makes them feel better about their life to see someone going through a fucked up life. That's why they never give her uh, too much. They always give her just enough for the next trial and error, just enough for the next fucking storyline, right? Because if, if it was the case of actually being supporters, you know, then then the concept would be like, 
it, it would be like that fan club that they build up and then they present you with a large lump sum so you never have to worry again or or buy you a fucking month supply of diapers or or shit like that or because y'all know she's an addict and we can't give her the money directly so now we have to buy the items ourselves. I mean that's how we dealt with my mom dealing with situations knowing that she was using everything you know as a way to get drugs she would skimp out on food say she needed food she would let her refrigerator go empty so so people can feel bad for her and give her money for food. Um, you know, it was so many different ways that I watched my mom go through to try to get the money for the drug. I watched her go through so many different uh, uh, ways of scheming and scamming to get this drug. The mentality is still there. And even... <laughs> And then Trina want to tell folks that she that she been walking and drinking water. No, bitch, you been your ass been taking them pills, and you ain't finna let food stand in the way of you getting some more pills. How many times do y'all really like? Every time you see Trina, eh, Trina snacking. She, I don't never see her. No fucking five meals. And that's what I'm saying. Her. Like my mom used to do the same thing. Like my mom used to fall eat. asleep eating food, and then she would wake up and just start chewing that shit again. Like it was like mom, you just fell asleep with food in your mouth. Like, and like th these are. That's why I say when I see this on the app in real time, when I see these people operating and performing like this, right? Uh, like. Where did that $5,000 go? Where did this money go? Y'all been on this app for two years, just like I've been on this app. Y'all know it does not take that much to put in for an apartment, especially in some of these cities, right? They only want two, two months. Even if she didn't have, even if she didn't want it in her name, she could have got a friend to put it in her, in their name, right? This person does not benefit the addicting. The addiction does not benefit them being stable. Right. It only works if there's confusion and chaos so they can crowdfund so they can get this fast money. Forty dollars. Remember, she was talking about three point fives and going to get, you know, marijuana with your money. Why y'all don't remember this shit? After I paid that fucking diamond, uh, uh, what you call him, to her, and I realized the, like, when she was like, I don't give a fuck who paid it as long as I got my 599 back, this, this, that, and the third, and yada, yada, yada. And then I seen her, I said, this shit is crazy. I, after I did that, I was like, man, I'm not helping. I got to fall back or take a better discernment on who I'm helping because. Since the pandemic, panhandlers have found a different way to panhandle, and that shit is on these apps coming from Facebook to YouTube and now TikTok. And these are fucking professional panhandlers. They are dressing up. They're putting on whatever image scheme they need to. They find a nice yes. corner, and they are... It's professional panhandling. It, they just legalize that shit. That's all. This is begging at the most sophisticated level. But do you think that she would get the help? You said do, Dominique, do we, we are think on a field she, trip, she, but we're headed back. So do you think she would get the help if she didn't have the, we to the big creators? Because I've seen them. Um, the I think, I think so TikTok, TikTok saved her life. I think the yes. direction that she was going in was, uh, you know, if it wasn't for these people, um, you know, don't, and I and I think that's a good thing. Also, maybe she 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 went the wrong route with it, you know, given a chance of such magnitude. But hey, I think I TikTok really saved oh, her sorry. life. You know, that? I think TikTok got her from, you know, she ain't got to sell that thing no more. She ain't got to look for them Johns no more. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, TikTok saved her yeah, life. Yeah, energy, because I've seen, um, Alice, I've seen on the blogs where uh, one of the guys said that he was supposed to be um, sending money for her to go up there, come up there to him to do um, a video, uh, only uh, an OF video. Well, some of these people ain't telling you the level or extents. If you go and look up some of their alias names and stuff, a lot of these people do uh, that soft 
soft porn, SM, whatever it's called that That's they started, right. you know, that it, it's been a big crowd of that. Uh, one of the main reasons why I fell back from messing with this particular person that we're speaking about is because I was in one of their live and it sounded like it was like a uh, choreographed type bullshit. They was like, oh, wait, I don't understand. Why is this community coming after me now? When last time I checked, we were all we were all on here going against, uh, you know, a certain uh, community. But it was it was they were saying that they were all against going against men. Like it was like a like they were all in cahoots with each other to tear men down. And I was like, damn, Trina, uh, I didn't know you was on on the app to tear men down. I didn't know that's what you were doing. Um, I wouldn't have paid that five ninety nine subscription if I knew your objective was to tear <laughs> men down. That's it. And then she was like, I don't give a fuck if you did give me the six dollars. Da, 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 da. I was like, oh, yeah, let me get away from this person. That was my only interaction with her as far as because when I heard that statement, I was like, damn, Trina, that's what you on here doing? Tear men down. I ain't know that shit. I would have never paid that fucking diamond subscription subscription back to you if I knew you was tearing men down on here and then you know but what I what I'm saying is that shit saved her life because who knows the type of individual she would have had to deal with in order to keep up with the lifestyle that she's trying to sustain which is an addictive lifestyle let me ask you this Atlas how do you know that in addition right. to the bullshit she doing on here, she's still not selling that coach. One can only hope, man. Right? Well, my thing is the daughter. Like, at least since you have been through something like that, do you think uh, you, that <laughs> she's going to be emotionally scarred from this? Because the daughter has seen everything. And at nine, you don't really, you if somebody asks her, she's not going to really tell. Because you, when she was yelling at that door, when she kicked her mom's door in, um, I felt sorry for the daughter. And I'm like, that wasn't the first time Trina done yelled at her child like that. Well, I think, you know, at the age. The mom well, said the daughter is more right, like. Right, but in a sense, like, also, said, like, on this the has become normal to the daughter. Right. So this is the problem with us being creatures of habit is because chaos has a way of normalizing itself in people's lives. I didn't realize it until like my group homes and my foster homes and and I realized like chaos has always been a part of our upbringing. From ass whoopings to yelling at each other to going out and getting in conflict, we call that shit iron sharpening and iron, but it's not it's fucking chaos feeding chaos and it has become normal in our community we almost accept that shit with open arms anytime something good is going on in our life we like nah something ain't right where's the chaos at we go look for that shit a good man come in some one of your friends is going to tell you uh-uh he too good he got to be hiding something girl so when it comes who? down to like the, who, the mindset it's all about the state of mind that we want to be in it's all about the state of mind that we want to be in you got trina you know she's found a different way to to capitalize for personal gain right is she wrong for doing it yes but has it become a survival tactic for her yes we all found different ways to survive during that pandemic. Everybody had to change up their way of living in order to survive. A lot of people didn't even know if they was going to make it out. So when we really looking at this, we're looking at people stuck in a survival state of being. And now that way of being has literally become their survival. TikTok, a lot of people are depending on these little bit of coins and checks and, you know, that every Wednesday deposit or that every 15th, you know, they they 
depending on it. Why? Because the restaurant business crashed during the pandemic. Anyone who was in food service, they crashed, right? Anyone who was in the nursing field, it, it started going down, right? Uh, a lot of black women are going into nursing, NA, AA, all of these different things. So that added an extra level of fear in y'all field because y'all got to deal with these people, right? Even in school, teaching, stuff like that, this this whole germ concept, uh, uh, now we're fighting an un, unseen enemy. It added a, a different uh, variation of fear in all of us. And, and people have determined how they wanted to go about this new level of fear. And some of it is like this YOLO concept, like, fuck it, I'm a dude, anybody wrong as long as I'm making it. I don't care who get caught in a crossfire. I don't care anymore. And they're living their life like that. So everyone is based off of who got the biggest bag and, you know, whoever got the biggest bag is allowed to do the worst shit. It's, it's all fucked down now. It's the opposite. Whoever the motherfucking broke is run the people. Have y'all have enough? Y'all have this app, that? right? Whoever the broke is on this app run everybody. These motherfuckers do not. That's and it's crazy because Dime and I are two content creators, right? That literally came over here like we don't need your shit. We just want to have a good time and you know kick it with you. And we, we the ones being harassed the most. The broke motherfuckers is out here, goddamn. They people, like, why is y'all swinging so hard for motherfuckers that's going to beg from y'all? And yes, I've been asked for my perfumes and my donuts, and now I'm asked for roses, but still. Question. It, it's definitely unrelated, but... I ain't asking uh, for nothing. I don't know. What's up, I mean, it's TMI. So, I, I was like, you know... I was like... Taking my medicine, oh, whatever. Yeah. It was on an empty you. stomach, my and I threw up. Show. Right? Mm -hmm. um, does this qualify as me not being able to go to class? It, it, no, absolutely like, not. No, go your ass. I'm just saying, Mocha. like, I don't feel Auntie good Mocha. anymore, and so I'm just like, this is this is a great. Now you want to hang out with us. We ain't going to let you hang out. We're going to go We're going to keep you out of here. If you don't go to your ass to play. If you ain't go yesterday, go today. Drink ginger ale soda crackers and go your ass to play. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all eat it and stuff. But my thing is, like, I don't... What do I have to eat? All right, I'm going to figure this out. Go to class. Thank you, Jimbo. Y'all, I'll go to class. You know my business. What <laughs> time is class. the class? class. Now nah, you lit us in your business, ma'am. I really did. I really did. I called my mom. And she's like, "Go to class." I was like, "Uh, ma'am, you're a pharmacist. What do I take?" She's like, "I mean, she said something, but I don't have it because it's prescribed." I was like, "Well, that just doesn't work." She's like, "Just drink water and drink Gatorade." I'm like, "Nah, I need an excuse." Mm. I'll go to class. You're getting one. You're not getting one. You are too smart and you're too close. Cause we're gonna we coming to the we hey, we all we're gonna try our best to make yeah, it to the, the graduation. No, uh, we can't get only in, but you are so, invited to my graduation because <laughs> I don't know y'all. <laughs> Riz, I don't know y'all. So she get ready to graduate. You got you got to finish now. Yes, man. Finish. Now when you get when you get through with when mm -hmm. you graduate next year, right? Twenty twenty five. And you then when no, you gonna take the bar after that? But I'm gonna study. Take the bar after that, or you gotta go to another study for the bar. Uh, Twenty twenty five. Twenty twenty five. Twenty twenty five. Well, we're not gonna let you in here. Unless you studying inside of here, we already said while you was at school and you didn't hear about it. But we said you, you gonna have to study with us. You, you have to teach us <laughs> some law both. stuff. Instead of both. rapping, you gotta teach us some law stuff. That's what your assignment so is. She gonna make a rap song about law. Tell us what right. you learn. I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> The what? Somebody oh. said. Oh, somebody <laughs> said your dog is depending nah, on you. Like, can I go to bed? All right, I'm gonna go back on mute. I'm dog sorry. Is 
No, I'm going class. No, I'm back. No, don't go back on mute. I'm talking to you. You go into class and you're going to tell us what you learn. Because I was learning Every day, class. that's your assignment that's to tell us what you learn, Reason. Yeah. We want to learn too. Yes. We they learn. just be yapping sometimes. And you can't believe you me because I took law for two years in college too, so I know the right shit to ask. Are you in criminal justice? <laughs> Are you doing family? I know you did so, not say they just be yapping. <laughs> you said what? So basically, the I queen say, queen like, I still you say all they like, be areas of the law. When you get into the profession, you hone it on your like what you want to actually practice. But um, I have a I'm working on a certificate in public interest right now. It wasn't it, for me. It wasn't that How hard. How hard was the um, LSAT, Rizzy? Because I already had that kind of thought process. I did score one sixty five, which allowed me to get quite a few um, scholarships. Um, but I chose the school that I w- I'm going to now because of my fluoride. But um, yeah, it's 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 it depends on the person and it depends on how much time you take to study. So you're gonna take the LSAT? Okay. Uh, well, I mean, let's get I working. Because I'm out of Now, Kiana, you telling everybody else? Remember, we had this conversation. Right. All right. My mom became a pharmacist when she was, I believe, 40. Um, so I'm, hmm? Yeah, she already, I mean, we, I was in high school. Yeah, this was, what's up? Oh, really? Lucy, you know, Lucy's son is a pharmacist. Lucy raised a pharmacist. Lucy got a doctor in her family. Well, she got several, though, but her son is a doctor. One of, hell, I won't say she got more than one son that's a doctor, but I know one of them is a doctor of pharmacy. He got the uh, farm bee. Yeah. That's what I said. They fuck with the wrong one. Trina, go find somebody else to play with. Oh, Lucy, I barely fuck knew that Kim. Oof. Big ups to them. Chemistry. Kim. You made it out of what, girl? Oh, a camera. My dad. Yeah, I don't even my see dad's an engineer. My mom is a pharmacist. You gotta be very they proficient. both come from science and mathematic backgrounds. Fuck that shit. I like math, but I don't I hate science. And so I mean I'm the only one in my family that chose like law or social social okay. studies. Yeah. Oh hey, Heather May. We proud of you too, baby. Rizzy. Both of them are? Okay, what part? So my dad's Nigerian, my mom is Kenyan. Okay, my dad Liberian. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Oh, brother. Oh, Atlas, you were talking, I'm sorry. No, no, don't even try. <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> bring up um Star Wars because see yeah, that's why I said don't even try to see what happened was the force about to be with all y'all because I ain't gonna keep on the Star Wars thing I gotta finish that game okay that is the newest Star Wars game and it's actually pretty good okay now we're gonna talk about this law stuff because is it criminal justice or are you going to family Heather May said, Heather May said, Heather May said she getting her master's in library science. Well, goddammit, Trina can uh, use your help. She wants somewhere to work at. She like reading books. Do you really think she want a job, Kiana? I'm giving her Hell bachelor's in no. science. Trina want to work in a pie factory tasting pie. She won. Trina would not work in a pie factory tasting fucking pies. That bitch would make a hundred excuses. I don't understand why I gotta eat pies, and I don't understand. I mean, that's too much sugar. The sugar gets started, and then, and then I gotta lift the fork to my mouth, and I just—it's it, just not fair. Fuck Trina. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like. 
I I don't know. Like the the way it is nowadays, like you can get a job from home. Like if you got a phone, you can get a job. Like if you really wanted a job, like they're hiring for anything. You can make phone calls. You can be a what do they call a uh, uh, you could sell people decals for their cars and just call them and be like, hey, I work for the any and the Trooper Association. You want to buy this decal for your car? Like, literally, like, they got jobs for everything now. So, it's easy to find a job. Yeah, stuff in it. Yeah. Okay. All right. People don't want to work. That's the problem. This this that pandemic done made an easy way for them with this whole just tell somebody a sad story and they're going to feel bad for you and donate. That's why it it's a pyramid scheme. You know, she's at the bottom of the pyramid trying to work her way up to the top to where as though she start exploiting other people's stories instead of her own story. Right now, she's got to exploit her own story, you know, so, and that that's detrimental because her story ain't matching her actual life. You can't be no fucking addict and be on the run from the law and then make it seem like everybody just wronging you. No, you done wronged a lot of people already. What the hell? The people are the reason she get away with the addict, not her. The people are the reason, because as soon as you get them a lame ass story, they buy it. So us to I feel give bad to you. Shit. We watch you curse your mom out, go to Texas, come back, kick your mom during. What the fuck? We watch you. You literally have a whole crowd sadness saying your mom was done and and already in the grave. How the fuck you put her already in the grave? I wish my mom was still here, but damn, you put yours in the grave just to get money. Like if you scamming like that then ain't nothing off limits to you. So I don't, there's nothing that you can trust this. And that's what let you know them motherfuckers can't be Did she scam that therapist serious. No, with no, the suboxone no, that she was supposed to be getting? Mm-hmm. The, what, the medication? That therapist? I don't know what, don't know what that therapist yep. is. That therapist must have threw some money and on I the side. Of that, that shit. The field trip is almost over. We're literally about swimming and swimming around. That therapist, that friend, that therapist must got some bread or threw some money her way. Because nine times out of ten, when somebody say, you know, they don't want to lose you as a friend, it's because you you enabled their habit the biggest like a lot of addicts they don't want to lose people as friends that don't mind that they use and help them get their drug you know i don't think that therapist is able to uh prescribe any medication she's just a therapist. no she was giving her money to pay her money oh, gotcha gotcha What person you know walk away from the bank? Hell no. Yeah, if you when you an addict and you can and you know you got that person that you can call and get forty dollars from anytime you can call and get that. Hey, especially when you could just be honest and tell them like I'm fiending, I'm Jones, and I need a hit, I need a fix. Shit. That's why they always try to get high with you. If you ever been around an addict, an addict will try to get you high too, so they know. They got somebody to go to when that shit. I know you want some too, shit. Let's just spend your money this time. They always find other people to try to get high, so that way they know where to hang out at in case they need. Hey Denise, baby. Exactly. That, and then had the nerve to put them goddamn pills in that water and flush them. Y'all saw that shit. I'll be trying to hide like y'all don't. Listen, yeah, as a kid who had to go the check the damn aspirin. front porch and the vestibule so many damn times because my mom was high as hell telling me that she paranoid as shit. Did you hear something? Go check. Go check the basement. Go check. As a kid who had to watch that, those different phases, that shit is easy to read in some of these characters. You know, when they sitting there and they making up these different stories for TikTok, like it's so many people that's just getting high sitting on TikTok right now trying to get people money. Shit, y'all better be careful out here. This shit became a new hustle. Yeah, they got they got Tree Bean. Uh, Tree Bean was um was was had put her pills in some water, which I didn't understand the whole water part. Now why not just throw the motherfuckers in the toilet and flush? Why you had to put them in the water bottle first and then it was so performative. Girl, get the fuck out of here. 
Get the fuck out of here. You well, put the not, damn I, pills in a bottle of water and then flush them down the toilet. I knew that people was doing pills because when you when you sell enough, you you in that field, you around these people. But when you see those 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 um, little color coded stains at the bottom of their shirts, it's because they've been getting the coating off the pills, right? A lot of people just wet the pill because they got to get the coating off of it. And then when they did that OP stuff, when that oxycodone came out and those OC80s came out, a lot of people was getting gel pack pills where you couldn't sniff them. So you had to, yeah, all these people started doing different forms of, of, of trying to change the way that they use the pill because they started uh, making it harder for people to use these pills. So you had to dissolve some of them because you can't they they started clogging up in people's nostrils because they had they called uh, gel pills they called OPs. So when you snort them, as soon as liquid hit it, it gels up. So it started clogging up people's nasal passages and so on and so forth. Because this was the when they did the war on drugs, this was one of the counter uh, measures that they used when people started going, you know, the pill direction, when the all these uh, pain pills and stuff started taking over uh, more so recently since 2016. But we ain't going to get into all of that. Man, was, you used to sell drugs? No, he was I'm talking about the, the documentary they had on the war on drugs that showed it. No, uh, I was watching, um, they got it on TV. They show that stuff on TV all the time. And, I, and, and ain't nobody finna say a real deal if they I do said, sell drugs. Sell? We know real deal. I said, did you sell? I said, did you sell? You used to sell drugs. You already told me you play with the police. Nobody you said, go ahead and get your real. justice. Not you gotta turn yourself it. in. As, as, as Janetta Crock, Cochran, I, hate y'all. I represent <laughs> Atlas, and Atlas would not be answering their question. My client would never <laughs> No. I'm about to open up no investigation no, on me, and I think no. Atlas used to sell drugs. He knows so much about it. Why do he like, know so much? I can hear Rizzy ass now on the goddamn phone. <laughs> yes, I am. In, I'm in a TikTok live with this guy every day. And I'm well, I got the DA, DA on Tony, Uncle Tony is about to be on Atlas. Hell no. <laughs> Love yeah, I, look, I want. I want. Uh, I knew because I was in oh, West Virginia and West Virginia is like pill capital for some reason. Like they changed their signs to match the amount of pills that's coming in their state. They're literally their mm-hmm. slogan is wild and wonderful. Before that, it was open for business. As soon as all them drug dealers started bringing drugs into West Virginia, they changed their slogan to wild and wonderful. I said, oh, yeah, this is not it. So you already know you, you if you. But you know, Tr- uh, Trina is. I didn't know Ohio had a big um, heroin epidemic. I did not know that until I was dealing with a doctor who has them homes for people. So he got them in Baltimore, of course. You know what I mean? Um, he's. I think he got one in Atlanta. But uh, oh, that's right. Because Tony said, yeah, he tell us over on the um, on the what's called side. The they do. On. They that do. The, uh, started coming out. That yeah, tri- I didn't on. know that. that. Fitnall started coming out of uh, Ohio. Something tough. What you mean? They're making it, or um, I mean, people, people are like mixing it with pills and stuff like that. That's what uh, that that one rapper just died from the OD uh, the, because yeah, it's the fentanyl that they're now mixing with pills and stuff like that. So oh, yeah, ain't nothing, ain't none of these drugs clean anymore because they're using that tri fentanyl or that fentanyl to cut them with. It's called press uh, press pills. So everybody's like thinking that they can get the chemistry right and make their own pills with this fentanyl. They started cutting heroin with it to try to, you know, stretch the money, uh, you know, because it ain't coming in how they how it used to, you know. So they trying to stretch it with this fentanyl shit. Was it uh, because I remember um, when she was friends with the therapist, it was an argument about those two or three hundred dollars. For her prescription boxing. Okay, so it's a boxing is to get you off of it. 